yes welcome students to one more session of your thermodynamics almost we are coming to the end of the chapter so today the topic which we are going to discuss is enthalpy of a system so basically enthalpy i've already done it but what is different to you here we are going to study about the different types of enthalpies of reaction so before going to the topic let's see what actually is enthalpy how is this enthalpy denoted enthalpy or the heat content isn't it that is what we have studied so this heat content of the system is denoted by which one capital h correct yes <clears throat> so if i have to speak so somebody has asked me what define enthalpy of the system simply i'll just say enthalpy is nothing but sum of internal energy right i've already done this topic internal energy concept it is the combination of rotational energy kinetic energy and all the different vibrational energy so i've done one topic on internal energy you go through and go and watch that so it is a sum of internal energy and this is a sum and it is product of pressure right and volume okay remember this so what is actually this this sum of internal energy and product of pressure and volume so if i have to write in terms so sum of internal energy first of all delta h this is enthalpy it is equal to sum of internal energy what is the unit for internal energy it is nothing but e plus product of p into v p and v this is delta this is called enthalpy of the system now suppose if i have to write about change in enthalpy change in enthalpy that means i am going to speak in terms of what now this del h will become delta h this is delta means change how should we write that so basically when i have to write delta h how can i take it in chemistry we take it as heat content of the products minus heat content of reactants this is what is this right yes so delta h let me write in this term now so it is nothing but the, the same thing can be written as delta h is equal to hp minus hr isn't it yes right so now this delta h value is means this is equal to hp minus hr now if i have to represent in this term right how will i write delta h because this is change in enthalpy then again this entry in uh, so internal energy also delta e plus p delta v okay this is one more way of writing the enthalpy equation now what is this delta h delta h basically is a heat change in a reaction okay this is a heat change in reaction at constant pressure remember once again delta h is a heat change why it is a heat change because it is delta it is a heat change of reaction at constant pressure now what is delta e now delta e is heat change in a reaction at constant volume if i take this as constant then this will become constant volume here i'm taking delta h at constant pressure and suppose if i keep this as uh, constant it will become heat change at constant volume that's right so now this enthalpy of reaction or this enthalpy of system is again of two types what are they enthalpy it is this enthalpy is again divided into let us write it is divided into enthalpy of reaction this is one this is also called as heat of reaction it is called heat of reaction second type is this is second one is enthalpy of same thing of reaction with temperature now this is with temperature right fine so here this enthalpy of reaction for your grade uh, 11 syllabus you have different types which you need to study so you will study different different types with definitions and examples let's see what are they so in enthalpy of reaction this basically you don't have this for 11 but you have this what are they first of all enthalpy of reaction you'll be studying under heat of transition remember we will learn what is this then <laughs> second type is heat of sublimation okay i'll be covering all this with examples the next type of enthalpy of reaction is heat of vaporization vp next type is heat of fusion next type is heat of neutralization neutralization next type is heat of solution next type is heat of formation right <coughs> sorry the next type is standard heat of formation standard heat of formation last but not the least 
right after this is and this part only I am not mixing up the last part is heat of combustion okay combustion so you have all these types which you should study for your exam so one after the other we'll be do, do, doing with all the concepts so stay connected i'll just give you one after the other in my next video so students let's come back and start with the first type of enthalpy that is heat of transition or enthalpy of transition so i told e enthalpy of reaction is again subdivided into many parts almost you know one two three five six seven almost ten parts right almost i said now the first type of uh, type of uh, heat content or the heat of uh, transition or the enthalpy of transition or it uh, listen let us see first of all let me take an example and show you now let i'm writing an example then we go to the definition whenever such questions asked both definition and examples are important right now what am i writing i have taken <coughs> carbon what are the different forms carbon exists in this two forms isn't it means basically three diamond graphite and uh, your uh, uh, buckminster fullerene isn't it in that again this is diamond okay c diamond it's getting converted to c amorphous okay right let me take one more sulfur sulfur it exists in uh, uh, forms two allotropic forms one is above uh, are allotropes isn't it right so this exists in monoclinic and this is rhombic right next one more phosphorus also exists in the form of allotropes isn't it that is right what are the different types phosphorus exists in three allotropes white white phosphorus red phosphorus as well as black phosphorus now here i have taken white phosphorus getting converted to red phosphorus okay now what actually is happening here in this case to convert diamond to amorphous delta h value which i uh, require or it's going to absorb 3.3 kilocalories now for conversion of this one to this one delta h value is the energy released is 0 0.016 kilocalories now for converting white phosphorus into red phosphorus delta h value is minus 1.08 kilocalories okay done now let's see <clears throat> how to define what are you observing let us see either the heat is evolved or so heat is evolved or heat is absorbed both the things so let us write the definition what is heat of transition it is a heat evolved or heat absorbed so let us write heat of transition is a heat evolved okay here in this case or it can be absorbed also heat evolved heat absorbed when right what is happening when a substance changes from one physical state to another form one physical form to another form only physical state is converting that's it simple that's the definition okay right when a substance when a substance changes from one physical form to another one from one physical form to another that's it okay this is your heat of transition simple so it is basically converting of physical forms let's see the next one what is this this is heat of sublimation so how should i define let us take an example so that is the definition here let me write the example here now what am i doing i'm going to take iodine okay right now iodine uh, physical state is a solid now i'm converting this into iodine gas okay now during this process delta h value is of endothermic reaction 14.92 kilocalories now what are you observing here what is sublimation heat of sublimation right let's see it is the heat change isn't it heat change whereas here it is in this case it is endothermic right so it's going to absorb energy and then get converted from directly from solid to gas now let us write heat change start your definition like this heat change heat change right when when one mole of an solid is directly converted this is one mole isn't it iron is one mole one mole of solid is directly converted into gaseous state and most important thing is it at a temperature below its melting point then only it's going to melt right so remember once again it is a heat change which happens when one mole of a solid is converted see both are one moles isn't it is converted into its gaseous state at a temperature less below its melting point let's write so heat change when one mole of a solid solid sublime means converting solid direct to gas without uh, undergoing liquid state one mole of the solid is 
directly converted into the gaseous state at a temperature at a temperature below melting point okay this is all yes this is a sublimation now let's come back and start with the, the next one next type that is heat of heat of vaporization now again i need to write the definition i need to write the example let's take an example then understand now what am i going to do vaporization it is a process of converting liquid to gaseous state it's vapor state isn't it now let me take an example this is water this is in liquid state this is water this is in gaseous state now this is what both are water okay now what is this this is steam basically now during this process what happened delta h value the amount of energy absorbed is 9.71 kilocalories means to convert liquid to vapor is absorbing energy endothermic reaction and converting into gaseous state now what uh, can you write this is a heat change isn't it because delta so let us write a definition heat change heat change done or i can also write this as enthalpy change okay enthalpy change right what when one mole of liquid is converted into its vapor state or the gaseous state at its boiling point at boiling point only earlier it was below its melting point but here at boiling point only it's going to become steam isn't it it's let's write heat change or enthalpy change when one mole of liquid one mole of liquid gets converted to vapor or gaseous state now what is important it is at its boiling point at boiling point only it's going to vaporize at its boiling point remember that okay right so this is done so this is your vaporization now let's come back and see the next type here it is liquid is gradually converting into gaseous state so that to one more now let's see the next type that is <coughs> heat of fusion so fusion a fusion means let's again write the definition here let us write the example right so when i have to speak about fusion what is this uh, we have already seen isn't it it's a conversion a process of converting solid to liquid isn't it fusion means converting solid to liquid process so let us take an example water which is solid it's getting converted to water which is liquid this is ice state this is water state isn't it both the water but here the physical state is water liquid and ice is in solid state now here the delta h value amount of energy heat absorbed is 1.43 kilocalories fine now what will i start definition it is a heat change because delta so start here your definition is heat change okay heat change when or uh, later now uh, we can also say it as inbuilt heat that is latent heat heat change or heat of fusion or is a change that means basically it is a latent heat that is inbuilt heat so heat change fine uh, what when does this happen when a substance changes from a solid to liquid state at constant pressure okay okay right so heat uh, fusion or uh, the latent heat the heat of fusion is also called latent heat the heat change when a substance changes from which one solid to liquid from solid to liquid at constant pressure remember this right at constant pressure when solid gets converted to liquid then we call it as fusion right so this is your fusion students nothing you need to remember what is vaporization you need to remember what is fusion you need to remember what is sublimation and uh, we'll see later next see heat of uh, fusion uh, sorry heat of neutralization so students basically you have studied in your grade 11 the neutralization process acid reaction between acid and the base isn't it we do not basically heat of neutralization is delta h n right so i'll take an okay i need to write the definition i need to write an example let's write so what am i going to do i'm taking h plus ion we i get ions in aqueous state now i'm going to add oh minus ion here this also in aqueous state together what do they form they form water this is liquid now do you hear proton 
that is H plus ion hyd uh, this is combining with OH minus hydride and hydroxyl okay okay that was hydrogen ion concentration and the hydroxyl ion concentration both combined to form neutral water molecule isn't it here during this process delta H value change in enthalpy the energy releases minus 57.3 kilojoules per mole okay right now how will I define this let's see this is change in enthalpy okay change in enthalpy that occurs when when one equivalent of an acid this is one equivalent of an acid and one equivalent of a base undergoes neutralization reaction between acid and a base is a neutralization reaction once again change in enthalpy when one equivalent of an acid which combines with one equivalent of a base and undergoes a neutralization reaction to form water and salt right that is neutralization it is right definition change in enthalpy i'm starting the definition like this what change in enthalpy when okay when or that occurs okay that occurs that occurs when one equivalent of an acid one equivalent of an acid and one equivalent of a base and one equivalent of a base undergoes neutralization reaction undergoes neutralization reaction to form salt and water to form salt and water this is your heat of neutralization so these are this is how you're going to learn every heat of a reaction so i'll be covering the remaining uh, neutralization of the heat of neutralization reactions in my or heat or enthalpy of reactions in my next video thank you for watching students